Okay, we have your Taylor integral on the board. This one's from the Scranton Integration B 2016, problem 10. We have the integral of one over x squared times the square root of one minus x squared dx. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the obvious thing here and do the trig substitution. This is perfectly set up for using sine. So what I can do is make my substitution for x equals sine of t. Then we find that dx is gonna be just cosine of t dt. So we'll go ahead with this. Put the dx in the numerator, so this is going to be cosine of t dt. x squared is just going to be sine squared t. And then here we have 1 minus sine squared t. Well, 1 minus sine squared t, this is the same thing as cosine squared t. It's inside the square root, so when we take the square root of this, we end up with cosine of t. And so what's going to happen is this whole thing is going to cancel with this here. And then we're left with just 1 over sine squared t, but I can actually write that as cosecant squared t dt. But cosecant squared t, this is actually a very common integral. This is going to be actually minus cotangent of t. But then from here, all I need to do is get a value for cotangent of t, and we have this value x equals sine of t. What I can do then is draw my triangle. We're going to do this. The angle is going to be t. Sine of t is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. We can write this as x over 1, so we can make this side x, this side 1. Then using Pythagorean theorem, or I could just look around and see that I have a 1 minus x squared here. This third side is going to be 1 minus x squared. So then to get our value of cotangent, we just want adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's going to be square root of 1 minus x squared over x. We can take this, we'll plug this back in here, and so for our final solution we have minus 1 minus x squared over x plus c, and that's it. Okay, good quick problem. We'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.